What's going on guys? Shinigami Psycho here. Time for some more of The Witcher. And uh... Nothing new. Just kind of sort of stopped and started again. Oh my god. You are quite ugly. Holy bazongas. Take quite a beating, too. Holy crap, they're a bit tough. Come on, come on, girl. Okay, so not too difficult to fight. Like, my health didn't go down anymore. What do they drop? Cadaverin, Shadow Dust, Devourer Teeth. Ah, oh, no. We got a new kind of teeth for the dentist, and now I can't give them to him. Damn it. Flippin' rude. No matter, I guess. All right. So, in the last episode, we finished the little side quest of getting the necklace for the um the naiad well we finished obtaining it now we got to go give it to her and and i'm worried i'm really worried that this is going to result in yet another occurrence of me having to edit my video all right no what what no stop that um eat bread and take honeycomb. And in fact, now eat the honeycomb because I'm low in health. Let's see how many of these I can stack up. Uh, fish head. Eat the fish head. Because that'll do wonders for your breath. Door to Chief's house, door to Blacksmith, Cow Guard. Okay. Somebody's guarding a cow. Because that's an amazing job. And you're a prize winning cow. Move. Take a good look, Mr. Witcher. You're not likely to ever see another cow like this, and she is impressive. Look at that glistening coat. A tail and that hunter. Mm -hmm. We plan to mate her with a champion bull from Bullsville. Mm. Okay. That'll be something. A stock known round the world. No doubt. Ah, uh, our strawberry is so beautiful. Later. She should make for a good piece of steak, too. Damn it, now I want steak. It's been way too long since I've had a good steak. I haven't been outside my home to do anything fun in three months. My girlfriend wanted to take me to a restaurant the other day for Father's Day and I had to say no because, well, eh, it's still not very safe for me to go outside. So instead we got Chinese taken. <laughs> Which was good. But I definitely do miss going down out to a restaurant from time to time. But it's it'll be worth the wait if it means that I can stay safe and, and my absence will keep other people safe as well. It's still night. Has anybody noticed that? It's still night. Wonder why. Like, according to my little, um, thingy up here, 
Oh, it's only 3 a.m. Okay. I didn't mean to pause the game. I wanted to do this. Location dangerous. No, it's not. I've already killed everything. You lie, game. Am I going the right way? Hell no. Me? Not get lost? <laughs> when has that ever happened? Oh man, I am really lost too. If you're bored, go home. Circle of waning magic. Ooh. Another place of power. Nice. Okay. And now to discover. Oh boy. Let's talk. I found your necklace. I have your necklace. Splendid. Now your reward. I'll grant you a book on the Vodianoi. The Earth Rune, or I'll treat your wounds whenever you need. Okay. Oh. Oh, man, decisions. This is harder than I thought. I really want that book. But... Having her able to, like, just heal me whenever I need to, that'd be really beneficial. The question is, how many opportunities am I really going to have to be able to come back and see her so I can get healed? Honestly, I've been doing a fair job on my own. And what about the Earth Rune? What Tell me about the rewards. The book on Vodianoi contains knowledge on any fish people you encounter. The Earth Rune enhances your sword. Choose me, and I will treat your wounds whenever you need. Okay. I don't suppose I could summon you somewhere, because that would be pretty awesome. But I doubt it. I'm going to take the book, because I think the knowledge the from book the book about would be more it useful. It is yours, though it's such a dull tome. Thank you. Take this token as a memento. The amulet will protect you from drowners. Really? Received red ribbon. Necklace given to Nyad. Red ribbon. Silk scarf. Red ribbon. Talisman. A drowner repelling tals talisman. Huh. Gold sapphire ring. Silver ruby signet. Okay, we'll keep the signet ring on. That's very interesting. And the book? Description of the Vodinoi for or the fish people. Bestiary describing underwater race of Vodinoi warriors and clerics, as well as the mysterious Dagon. This book adds bestiary entry. And hopefully, other formula ingredients. Dagon ingredients, see? Yeah! That's why I wanted it. Vodinoi scales, bladder, stone of ease. Tendons. Oh, nice. Lots of, of potion ingredients. And that's why I think it was worth it. The only downside is, is oh, I would have really liked to have... Um, okay, okay. I would have really liked to have her the... Um, the healing. The healing would have been really nice. Let's talk. I don't suppose you have... Damn. Farewell. I was hoping she might have another quest for me. I don't know. It would be really nice to have both of those. I probably could have found the book somewhere, honestly. I am wearing Drowner Talisman. They're not attacking me. Oh, wow. Until I draw my sword, or... Oh, they just kind of stand there and let me kill them. Oh, this is this is good fun. The problem is, is I don't think I can loot that crate until they're gone. But still, it'll make killing them a lot easier. Uh, 
I like it. I'm I'm not taking that off. I like that a lot. Um, give give me my loot. No, he's too far out in the water. No, you bastards. Uh, shh, Nikes. My inventory's full again. Let's eat some more stuff. Uh, oh crap, that's all I could eat. No! Alright, I'll drink some booze. Not that that's a good idea, but hey. Oh, there we go. I can take that stuff. Eat the pear. And now I can loot the fish head. And eat more fish heads! Because nothing says healthy breath like the, the smell of rotting fish. Alright, so what are we doing next then? Uh, probably going back into town. I kind of want to talk to her again, but at the same time, I really don't. Because she's kind of annoying. But... I want to see if maybe she has more dialogue options, more information, and I am stuck. Uh, okay. Well, I need to get back to town somehow. Oh, uh, what have I opened up on the map so far? Quite a bit, but there's still more to do. Maybe I'll just run around for a bit. See if there's some more monsters that can be killed and and more regions to unlock it's good to get a lay of uh, a feel for the lay of the land murder some more drowners some more neutral drowners oh this is hilarious <laughs> I don't suppose I can find a talisman like that that just kind of repels all monsters. Because that would be awesome! And then imagine if there was one that would repel humans! Or, or at the very least make them nicer. Okay, I've been over this way already. But there's still all of that map that's closed off. Unexplored. I'm curious. But based on my mini-map, there really isn't much I can do. Okay, new region. It's always good. There we go. Now we've got the full map. Passage to the fields. Alright. Murky waters. The crypt. I want to go to the crypt next. Berenger is supposed to be over there in the crypt. Oh, you're following me, aren't you? You can stop biting my ankles now. Thank you. And give me your pelts, because they're actually worth a bit. There we go. Now then. Onward to the crypt. And Dog on a human leash. Asshole. Asshole. I help the Skoya tell... And that's how, well, okay, he might not know that. I don't know. I would assume that kind of thing would travel, though, that kind of word. Hey, guess what? This really famous guy is helping us. And he's really strong and kicks a lot of ass. Maybe we should be nice to him. You know, something along those lines. Makes sense in my book, at least. 
Let's not piss off the guy who's known for killing lots of things. Ooh, corpse and a flutter. Haven't seen one of you in a little while. And you're gonna attack me first. All right. And fall over. Oh, you're immune to stun. Fine. You're not immune to metal. Sharp, painful metal. Another fish? What is it with this, with all the fish stuff? Eat. Now gimme. And, oh, I need a merchant to clear out my inventory. I've got a lot of stuff in here that needs to go. And most of it I can't sell. Water. Fish tail. The benefits of these things don't last nearly long enough. Silk scarf. I can't equip that? Oh, basilisk hide. Press control, left click. Nope, can't do anything with that. I suppose I could drop the flint. I don't really need it. Argentia? Increased damage inflicted with silver or sword. Well, we are fighting monsters. Let's just put it on and get open to space. Woo! It's all shiny, glowy, and, and stuff. <laughs> uh, my grasp of the English language is just so fetching, isn't it? So astonishing. Berengar, mysterious witcher and outcast. Dude. I finally found him. It's been a while, man. I don't like this. I can't see anything. I brewed some cat potions, didn't I? I thought I did. Blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. Bloody, bloody, no. Crap baskets. Fine, I'll drink some milk. <laughs> Not that that'll actually do me any good right now. What do you want, Witcher? I've been looking for you, Berengar, for some time. I have some questions. You mean you're not looking for that legendary suit of armor? Well, you'll have to wait, because a wraith and some Brookside will be here any minute. You think you can handle them? Yes. Think I can't? <laughs> Fine. Play tough. As that old stooge Vesemir used to say, Let's fight and see. I can hear them coming. Get ready. I've been ready since childhood. Those bastards at Kaer Morhen saw to that. Okay. I'm a little confused. I found Baron Guy. I should speak with him. Oh, okay. Follow Berengar. I would very much like to, um, well, not just loot corpses, but I would also really very much like to see things. Um, I have a torch. It's not as good as a cat potion, but it'll work. Nice style, but not perfect. During a half pirouette, you leave your groin unprotected. I don't think so. I'll demonstrate when we get out of here. I don't intend to discuss swordplay. What do you know about Salamandra? <laughs> Straight to the point. Know why I'm laughing, Geralt? No. I'm laughing at you. So, witchily, fast, deadly, and sure of yourself. With your unwavering sense of what's right. Think you're better than me? I don't know. But I don't want to fight you. Oh, that's right. The code forbids it. Watch it. Here they come again. Oh, jeez. Uh, I must follow him. Some more! 
And follow him again. Update, I must follow. Update, follow some more. Update, follow even further. Is there an update that I can get that doesn't require me to follow him? There's a sarcophagus. I want to loot it. Why must you do this? That was easy enough. Berengar, I'm not about to get killed by a few Bruxae, if that's what you were hoping for. Let's talk. Who said I wanted to talk? You gonna force me? I hadn't intended to. I was thinking. That since we're both witchers, somehow we'd come to an agreement? To me, you're no better than that scoundrel the professor. You're just a bigger hypocrite. So you worked with Salamandra after all? I never said that. Shit. You didn't have to. Alright. Whoa! That's an axe. And what an axe. Nope, oh, wrong sword. Come on, crew. Why are you dodging? Stop dodging. Looks like we're done here. Can we talk? Fine, but not here. Let's go outside. Sit by my fire. Finally. Okay. I'll do that right after I loot everything. And I do mean everything. Mutated corpse? Mutilated corpse. I swear I can read. Uh, let's pull the torch back out. What do we have here? Stuff. No! What are you doing? Pull the torch out! Don't put it away. That's irritating. Every time. Pull out the torch! I can't see. I mean, you can see, but it's... It's not easy. I think there was a second path. So we came up this way with him. Yeah. What's over here? Ooh. Look at that money. Silver necklace. Oh, and it's valuable. I really want it. Want shiny valuable things. Uh, drink some booze. So I can have some candy, too. And now we're gonna eat the candy. Because <laughs> inventory space. Really, really need it. Alright, was that it? Was that the end of this area? It appears to be. Yeah, yeah, okay. Does the map say I'm done in here? Oh yeah, definitely. It's really small. Okay. Well then, let's get out of here and go talk to Berengar. We've been looking for him for ages. Dude, wait up. Fucking witch's fate. Okay. I'll take your word on it. Um, talk? We can talk by the fire. Okay, so I have to sit down. Oh, looky, looky. I got some goodies. Let's make sure... Let's just max out all of my all of my bronze. Or I guess it's silver now. No, okay, no. No, no, no. 
I, I just want to do the bronze right now. Because I've almost bought everything there is to buy with bronze talents. It's just these bottom two rows. Okay. Oh, that's still got a few. And there. Okay, nothing more here. Nothing more there. No. This one I'm sure has quite a lot. Yeah, I, I haven't put much of anything into my signs. I've been focusing mostly on my weapons. So... I think I'm going to continue doing that. All right, now we'll deal with Silver Talents. We'll come back up here to Intelligence. Uh, base Sign Intensity. Unlocks level 4 signs. Well, again, I'm not really even using my signs all that much, so... That would be kind of a waste, honestly. Three there... And that's it. That's all the silver talents, I think. Oh, wait. No. I've got all this stuff, too. Dexterity. Stamina. Stun resist. And pain immunity. Poison immunity. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Hi! Resist bleeding. Oh, beautiful. Okay. And intelligence, sign intensity, sign intensity, enables performance of life ritual. But I can't click on those. All I can click on is this. Enables performance of cleansing ritual. Oh! Chances of extracting ingredients from both herb plants and defeated foes. Enables production of bombs. Oh! Oh, but I kind of want the cleansing ritual. But increased chance of extracting ingredients. Uh, I've already got, like, tons of ingredients, though. Alright. We'll go with that one for now, and we'll grab the next one later. Um, okay. Just meditate now, I guess? Will that trigger... Talking? All right, what's so not. urgent? I'd best start at the beginning. What's your connection to Salamandra? What the hell? It's a simple story. They found me some time ago, and the professor made me an offer I couldn't refuse. You know the kind. Help us, or we'll feed you your balls. I did what I had to do. It's funny. They remind me of witchers. Never had a choice, with them or you. The witchers made me a mutant. The professor made me a criminal. An outcast, twice over. I escaped as soon as I could. They got nothing out of me. I didn't sell anyone out. And then I came here. Okay. Um. Oh. I heard your attempt- yeah. I heard you're attempting to resolve the conflict between humans and the Vodianoi. What? Did they send you here to dissolve my contract? Fine by me. Take it. What contract? The one negotiating a peace between humans and the Vodianoi. Both sides came to me. I have no intention of pursuing it, and the job will fit your sainted legend perfectly. Oh, good. Do I sense envy? Don't flatter yourself. I have only contempt for people like you. Don't digress. My take? Call one of the two sides, and the rest will fall into place. Yeah, no, I'm going to negotiate a peace. Definitely. Um, nowhere I can find the friendly Vodian priest? Nowhere I can find the friendly Vodian priest? By the Lady of the Lake's altar on the shore? Oh, that guy. Okay. Sometimes the dragon worshippers drive him away, so wait for him. If it's not beneath you. I see. Yeah. Okay. Um... You mentioned an imperfection in my defense. Yes. You leave your groin open when you do a half spin. A beginner would notice. I even know why. Care to tell me? To do a half spin correctly, you need to have both legs in working order. One of yours was crushed once. 
Possibly. So it goes. Live by the sword, die by the sword. All right. Armor. You mentioned a suit of armor? You don't know the legend? I thought every little witcher had heard it. Tell me. The legend, as legends do, tells of a great warrior. It's more boring than Dandelion's ballad about you, which is hardly possible. But it turns out our hero employed witcher's fighting techniques while wearing armor. Was he a witcher? Who knows? Sounds interesting. They called him Raven. He had connections to gnome inventors with superior technical knowledge. In their secret workshops beneath Mount Carbon, they created a suit of armor both durable and light. Perfect for a witcher. A legendary suit of armor. I should do some treasure hunting. Good luck. I suspect Raven was buried in it, and I have long scoured cemeteries in hopes of finding it. Know anyone who could tell me more about the armor? The local blacksmith is an inventor and knows the legend. You could also try the elven handyman. I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Farewell. That's some valuable information. I should tend to other matters while I wait for Baragorn to come more, become more talkative. I should talk to Julian and to the Vodjan priest. Baragorn suggested that I talk with both the blacksmith and the elven craftsman about Raven's armor. Okay. So, we have a direction. And that direction is uh, about as clear as a roller coaster. Okay, uh, I want to go this way, I think. Back to Oh. Right. No, let's 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 go talk to to Priesty Boy there first. Okay. I mean, we're already here. I don't suppose that got rid of... Oh, Ripple's armor. Berengar suggest... Yep, Alvin. Alvin! I found Berengar. I should speak with him. I did. I should tend to other matters while I wait for Berengar to become more talkative. Okay. Fist fight, poker, the usual stuff. All right, we're going to go talk to uh, the, ooh, the priest. I'm guessing he only comes out at night. Hopefully there's a fireplace nearby. In the meantime, it's murder season. <laughs> now I'm really extra glad I got that book because ah Nice ingredients. Important ingredients, probably for a quest later. So, there go the Dagon worshippers. Well, the ones around here at least. We're gonna go back up here to the temple, I think. There's more up there. Okay, I will kill them and then we'll go meditate again. So hopefully we can talk to the priest before my time runs out. Where'd they go? I thought I saw more Dagon guys up here. Daggone it. Fine, I'll find a fireplace. There's one. And then there's her. Oh gee, oh, gee. okay, fine. I know. Nope. No Take new dialogue. Care. Goodbye. See you later, annoying one. Now, ooh, and this... No, that's not the circle of power. That's, yeah, that does a thing. And you're still out here, even during the day. Oops. Didn't mean to shove you. Let's talk. Uh, where's the friendly Vodian priest? Where's the friendly Vodian priest? He worships at the altar of the Lady of the Lake. Sometimes Dagon worshippers drive him away, but he always returns. I see. Yeah, well, I killed them and he's not back, so I'm assuming that means that uh, he only comes out at night. Okay, nope. Alright, let's go ahead and meditate. And thankfully, this is fast, so... Do, do, there. 
Hopefully that's long enough. Now let's go see if he's back at his altar. No? Aw, oh, come on, dude. Okay, let's try... Oh. Okay. That's a lot to read. So I'm not gonna do it. Damn it. I was really hoping that he would come out. I killed them. I killed the Dagons. So, now what? Honestly, I'm at a loss. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and meditate again to start. Uh, can I make any potions? I can. I need cat. I need the cat. Meow. And swallow I'm out of. That's Tawny Owl, yeah. So, swallow. White gold? No. Yeah. White gold. I can make another swallow. Productive. All right. I'm gonna go back to town, I think. Oh. What do you know? More day guns. Come on. Fall down now, you know you want to. Your turn. there was a way to upgrade my sword to do more damage. Oh, look. More friends. Oh, he healed himself. Alright, let's do something about that. What do you have? Oh, is that all? And he's still not back, is he? No, no he's not. Because I would have seen his name by now. Damn! Alright. Well then, I'm gonna head into the village. If I can remember how to get there. Let's look at the map so that I am a little bit more informed. There we go.
What the hell just happened to the sky? Weird. Oh. Whatever. Is, is that the spot? Dude. Your, uh, your fire went out. No matter. Let's go talk to people in the village and see what we can find to do. Maybe go meet the locals. What exactly is this village called? Read. Read the signpost. Murky Waters. That's it? It's just called Murky Waters? Kind of disappointing. Oh well. Now then, about this map, how much more do I have? Oh. A bit. I got a bit to discover. Let's run around and open stuff up. New region, tavern. Oh goody. I can go get a drink. Can't go into the water. Anywhere? Or only at certain spots? Ah, okay, there is a barrier. I should pay closer attention to my mini-map. Might do me some good. Doesn't look like there's anything else really out here. Just open fields. A bunch more plants that I have no idea what they do. Road to the fields? Okay. Wolves! Goody! More things to kill around here. How am I doing now? There we go. Now we've got the full picture. Uh, ruins, collapsed bridge. Let's go back to the inn. Now that I've opened everything up. Definitely hope there's some merchants here where I can sell some things, because, oh my god, uh, I need more inventory space again. Oh, and there's a notice board. Of course, of course. A notice board, wedding guest. Strange. You don't speak like one from Rivia. Really? You're familiar with the place? Okay, all of these are... are Confusing. Oh crap, there's a lot of them way out there. I don't want to run all the way out there. Old lady. How strange. Oh my back aches. Okay, you don't say anything noteworthy. And what's with all of these? I know they mentioned a wedding, but. What? Peasant? Peasant, peasant? The grumbling fisherman refused to take me to Black Turn Island. Oh, well, just go there with me next time. Uh, da, da, da. Inside. Let's go see what there is to find inside. And then probably call it a quits, because this episode is... is Drawing to oh god, there's Dandelion. Julian, I need to talk to you. Greetings, Witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually no people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a Witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. Oh, that really? must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh yes. In the olden days. 
I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. I hear you're getting married. Uh, I've taken Berenger's job. I've taken Berenger's job. Decided to handle this problem myself. Listen, I'm in the middle of planning my wedding. You have no idea how much time it takes. Come back later. All right. Fine. Uh, tell me the story of your tell grandfather. Tell me the story of your grandfather. Grandfather, may Melitelli watch over his soul, had a plot of land. A piece of a rocky, frozen valley in northern Kovir, and a deserted coal mine with no coal. Grandfather always said that a treasure was concealed in the valley. Oh! He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, many gladly took the jobs he offered and helped. But soon it became clear that Grandfather had gone mad, that there was no treasure. Are you sure when about that? When he was 47, had rheumatism and a collection of Bobolak scalps above his mantle, he was overcome with grief and went outside. He began cursing the heavens, berating all the known gods in the foulest language he knew. The gods answered. There was a terrible rumble, and an avalanche descended on the valley. Uh -oh. Grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow, and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire valley was glimmering strangely, glimmering so beautifully that he nearly didn't see the beast coming towards him with a heavy gait. Grandfather fled, bending over once to pick up a strangely glimmering stone. In short, he escaped. Descending from the mountains, he encountered a witcher who agreed to slay the monster in exchange for a silver penny. They returned to the valley, and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley, yet he demanded nothing beyond the penny promised him earlier. Grandfather grew to trust him, and knew that sooner or later, someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure, for the treasure in the valley was immense, Geralt. Diamond deposits that took years to extract. They became partners. Damn. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed the business. He's a legend in Kovir, and my family is wealthy and respected. That's the whole story. It's a pretty interesting story. I was kind of hoping for the, uh... The armor, though. What's up? Soon I'll marry the village mayor's daughter, Alina. We're planning our wedding as we speak. But you don't want to. All right. Uh, show me your wares. Hey, chicky. I have so much to sell. Oh my god. This is glorious. Look at all the inventory space. Uh, I've read that so you can have it. And I've read that. Already, yep, you can have these too. Huzzah! Oh, wow. And I have a fire spell. I don't need flint to start a fire. No! Sell those! Holy beeswax! I have inventory space now. And I think that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode. Um, we have a lot to do around here again. So, no time like the present, I guess? Although it's gonna wait for a while. I have other videos to make for other Let's Plays and the like, and yeah, just much to do. So, in the meantime, we found Berengar and had an interesting conversation. What do you think? Is he, uh, telling us all the truth? Or, or well, he worked with Salamandra. I don't know. Anything and everything you feel like talking about, by all means, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one.